Hey guys, it's Missy Gordon, the Meta Mystic here. It's great to see you today. We're gonna do a collective message, three card pull, using the Curious Creatures Tarot. Already pre-shuffle, but let me just get one more on camera. Sometimes things come through when I shuffle on camera. I don't usually do it on TikTok because you know how, you have to be so fucking fast on TikTok. God. <laughs> That's all right. I love the young people. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. All right, let's see what we have. Building something maybe. And he looks really excited. <laughs> I'm a Taurus moon. My mind always goes to like food. So the way that this looks to me is cookies. <laughs> he looks like he's making like Christmas cookies to me and he's just like super happy. But it's actually, there's a, pin cushion here so he's actually like a tailor of some kind <laughs> but he looks like he's so freaking happy building what he's building here he has his own he probably has his own tailor business and he's just living his best life you know <laughs> so let's see the full 2.0 in this deck we have the full and we have the full 2.0 the full 2.0 is kind of like you're like an old pro, like this guy. He looks like he's been doing this for years. He looks a little older. <laughs> if an animal can look old, I don't know. He looks like he's been doing this for a long time. You know, he, he's, he's maybe had uh, a lot of experiences here. It's like you have done something before and you're about to do it again. This reminds me of somebody jumping off like the really high... Um, <laughs> Brain work, brain work, diving board. Like the ver the high diving board. And she's just like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You've done this before. You're you're more than prepared to do what you're about to do. You're like an old pro here. Right? Like how I started off. I love the young people. <laughs> so, hey. You you might be like 30, but that's how you we can live a lot of life in like a year, so I get it. Page of Cups, you're following your inspirations. And this is interesting. This girl is like sending this like letter of love to this fish girl. And fish usually symbolize abundance. And this is also interesting that this dog girl is about to jump into this water here. So she's she's following her inspirations, jumping into this scene. And the Page of Cups is like all about our inspirations. It's like, where is your heart pulling you? Like it's pulling you somewhere. That always reminds me of that scene from Donnie Darko where he's like walking through the house and there's this like force that's just pulling him. That's kind of what the Page of Cups is to me. It's like there's like an unseen force pulling you in the direction of your dreams, right? And with the fish here, it looks like it's honestly something that's going to be abundant. Um, but also, I think I think goldfish only have like a seven second... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I don't know a lot about fish, if I'm really honest with you, but, I, but I'm just going to use this as an example. It's like, you know, you might feel like you have these like seven seconds of inspiration in a certain direction, and then it's like you forget what you were doing, right? I feel like this letter, this girl could be like a guide giving you a letter that you kind of like wrote to yourself in a sense, to remind you of who you really are here is what I'm getting. Like, you've done this before. Once again, it's coming back around to that. It's like, but sometimes we just need to be reminded of, like, what it is we actually are. What it is we actually are. So, with the Six of Cups, see, exactly. Like, reminding us of, see this baby elephant? And an elephant never forgets right so you have this this elephant here where it's like maybe you forgot maybe some things happened maybe you kind of got off your path because like some hard things happened in your life like maybe you experienced some sort of like relationship or business um 
split or like break down or what have you those are all lessons by the way that we can use like for our future like this guy he's been around the block like he has taken his 40 years of like running this business he he literally knows like the ins and outs of the industry that he's in it's like that like even if you got kind of quote unquote off track in some direction or whatever you are going to come back into alignment with yourself here with the six of cups like the things that when you were a child this baby elephant you're you're gonna remember who you really are because this is you now and this was you then right and it's like She's looking down at the baby and being like, oh my God, yes. You know, I, I am an artist. I am a writer. I, I, I loved those things. And, you know, people can like steal away our... I know people say like, well, nobody can really like take anything from you. I would almost disagree with that because I feel like people... If, you know, if there's somebody who we really, really loved, like if it's a family member or like somebody who we were with for a long time, even if it was just like a long time friend, things can happen where it's almost like that. I should more say it's like that piece of you that was it's like um, a bug being caught in amber. It's like there's a piece of you caught in this period of time that related to that person. Like, you know, when you go through a breakup and a certain song reminds you of them or whatever. It's like that. There's a piece of you in that frame of time with that person caught in that amber. And it's like, it's like they take that piece of amber and they put it in their pocket and walk. And it's, you know, it's not literal I'm just saying it's like there is a way to remember that part of us and to call it back like I was doing some research on the shamanic practice of soul retrieval and like calling pieces of ourselves back to ourselves and when I started doing that it's like all of a sudden I was just like starting to remember all of these obscure memories from my past and the Six of Cups is always, like, a good thing, in my opinion, unless it's, like, the devil next to it or something, you know. It, but with these cards, it's, like, this is getting you... I'm seeing an engine that just needs to be, like, revved up. Like, what just happened to my car the other day? The starter went in my car, and even after it got fixed, like, I started driving my car home, but when I was up on a hill, it was it was kind of a steep hill, and I was at the stop sign. When I took my foot off the gas, the car kind of started to, like, lose power and go back, and I had to, like, slam the brakes on because I almost... I almost like hit into the person behind me, and the car just felt weird, and when I got it home, I realized, like... There, the power still wasn't fully coming through the car. So had to bring it back. And the guy, the mechanic, was like, okay, all that's happening is the car has to relearn. So he had to, like, turn on the starter. He had to turn on the car and then, like, go through each of the gears. Go through each of the gears multiple times. And he checked it multiple times. And then all of a sudden, it was like by like the fifth time he started the car, you could feel and hear the power coming through the car. You're going to begin to to hear and feel the power coming through your car, yourself, your body, your being, your understanding, your mind, your soul. You're going to feel it powering through again all you have to do is relearn like with my car it had to relearn how to start that's what this full 2.0 is about you're relearning you're remembering who you really are who you've been you're you're taking that amber back you're taking that period of time back you know you're calling your soul back to yourself is what i'm seeing here in this reading today soul retrieval an elephant never forgets. This is your soul. You know, we can we can thank people for the lessons. You know what I'm saying? Like every situation we've had, every experience we've had, every relationship we've had, we thank them for the lessons. 
it it just it helped us to grow so we thank them for that right but we do call our soul back that is our soul and we call back that time period back it's like that letter to me here represents look the heart it represents our heart we're calling our heart our soul back we're remembering who we really are who we've always been and and this fool is showing me it's like you're just ha your system just had to kind of relearn who you were and now the power is flowing through your system again so that's what I'm getting. Much love, my friends. It's been Missy Gordon, the Meta Mystic here. If you want to get me over on Instagram, you can get me at Honeybee Music, B is spelled B33. Also remember to watch my energy readings that I did today. I did an animal spirit message. I do fortune cards. Oh, and I also did a one card pull today. So much love, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.